My name's Jake, and I found a bunch of pornographic magazines inside a dead man's house. Not just any old magazines. Australian softcore pornography from the early 90s. Now, me and my little mate Pete want to invite you to have a look at some pretty rude stuff with us. So hold on to your stiffies, everyone, and welcome to Smut Club 1990. Test, test, test. I think Hello. So. Hello. Tit, 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 tit. Clunch. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smut Club 1990, the only podcast where we peruse 1990s Australiana pornography. My, My name is Jake, Jake Smith. Smith. Sorry. Do, it was, was incredibly going, engaging. No, I was really there. It was, was like going, watching Shawshank for the hundredth time, and I start going like, "Some birds ain't meant to be caged." Like I've seen it well, so many times. Sorry, I, keep going. Well, I come in where I'm up to now. I'm, yeah, I'm Jake, Jake Smith, Smith, and I'm, I'm joined by, by my little mate, mate from a few grades, grades below. below. Bloody, Bloody Peter, Peter James. James, how are you, mate? James, so, oh, so oh. fun to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? I'm on? very well. I've brought another little friend. Oh, Hello. Into the, into the show. Yeah. Hello. What grade are you in? Oh, who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's concerning. One and twelve. Oh. Um, <laughs> smart and dumb. I, you are. That is Emma Holland, by the way. Hello. Welcome Hello. to the podcast. You do have the vibe of you're in grade twelve and grade one. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, like the aesthetic of grade one. But the um, excuse you, I got titties. <laughs> no, 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 but the body of a grade twelve. Do you oh, know thanks. There you go. You're, you're, thanks. No, you're you're for, you're forever. Oh, I love this. that's happening. Forever youthful. Forever youthful. But, but the you body. Dress, hang on, but I'm you just dress gonna... like Mum bought the clothes for you. No, no, please tell me more about my body. <laughs> can no, I can I repeat oh, what you said? Fuck. I'd love to repeat word for word, and I want this to be taken out of context. I want you to say that Emma Holland has the body of a grade 12. That's what you said. That's what you said out loud. Oh. In your comedy club, Good Shack Comedy Club, on oh. Caxton Street, Brisbane. I've been on a minute 30 oh. and you've already accused me of some heinous shit. That oh. is fucking... How much am I sweating right now? Awesome. Real cherry tomato for a head. Oh, you've gone red. <laughs> I, mean an adult, awesome. I mean an adult woman. You're an adult woman. Fuck! So you're objectifying me. Oh, well, it's great to <laughs> be What did you here. expect having me on? I, I don't know what you thought would happen. I, I didn't want to. It's so early to get caught up in a knot. <laughs> All right. Now show me the pornography you've brought. <laughs> oh, what do you God. think? I, I think Jake has the body of... <laughs> Like what? A what sand grade? pit. <laughs> <laughs> of a what? A sand pit. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's just the first thing that popped into my brain. <laughs> You've got sand a sandcastle for a belly button. Sorry, I've been at school all day. It's <laughs> all I can think of. This <laughs> now it's okay to make comparisons. About well, this is absolutely... Now, as long as you do it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my favourite start to the show ever. <laughs> oh, wowee. Hey, so uh, thanks, Emma, for your time to make me feel uncomfortable. Oh, thank you for I having thought, me. I thought we'd be making you feel uncomfortable today. but <laughs> no, no, mate, I'm an alpha. <laughs> <laughs> this is this magazine. I'll give you the cliff notes of how I came across it. I was cleaning out a dead man's house. I don't want to talk about it. Oh my god! And I found a lot of uh, uh, pornography that was going to be uh, headed to the dump. And I rescued one or two off the top of the dump pile. Oh, uh, you're rescued. a hero! Like, <laughs> like he's at fucking yaps. <laughs> <laughs> he got in that Westpac helicopter. He yeah. Put the yeah. what are you, rail thing down. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I meet someone, they go, "You know, we got a rescue." I go, "Me too." <laughs> Um, so it's the picture magazine. Do you know what the picture magazine is? I've heard it's like Australiana smut. Is that the vibe? Yeah, kind of. It's you could you could sell it to fifteen year olds. As in, it's like an M fifteen porn. Great. It's very soft core. So there's uh, a, a, a breast, chuzzies, yep. chuzzies, chuzzies, but no a vagina. I prefer to call them uh, money there's milkers. There's been a bit of footage. There, oh, there's been a bit of footage, but this no, last, like you're telling me there's clunge here. <laughs> <laughs> Open her up. <laughs> <laughs> the magazine or the <laughs> oh, oh either. <laughs> but it is it is explicitly closed lunch. Okay. <laughs> but it's all Jesus Christ. CC, but it's, if you will. There's no <laughs> <laughs> close captions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's also like, as we were saying before the mic started recording, it's ridiculous in the sense that half of this is with the intent to create horniness, mm -hmm. but the other half is like mad magazine style. Insane, not related to sex in any way. Yeah, awesome. I love that. And it's constantly flicking back and forth, ping pong <laughs> in between states of being. Great. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure which magazine article you want to go with today. Well, I'd like to show Emma just uh, the realm of how fucked this magazine <laughs> is, okay? 
What do you think about this? Well, we've discussed this in pretty much the opening of every um <laughs> of every episode for the last we, couple of weeks. I'll let you know. We will never touch this article, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to show people. <clears throat> uh, what's the title of that? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> um, the title is "Naked with Children." Isn't that fun? Isn't so, that wonderful? And it's just a naked, uh, assumed mother. The mother oh. of that mother, and then the child. <laughs> I mean, it looks very liberating. If anything, it's like it's obviously not pornographic. Yeah, it's like a nudist like family vibe. Yeah, like. yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. Woodstock, and I reckon nothing. Yeah, Woodstock. E- I reckon nothing's ever gone wrong there. No, <laughs> and Burning Man rules, and uh, <laughs> so do all those other festivals where kids are allowed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all above board. They're so good and positive. <laughs> so, I, like, that's the realm that we're in. That's Can how we, let's <laughs> flick the page over <laughs> while we speak. Oh, there's another kid. <laughs> you got it, mate. You've already gotten off to a rough start today. You've got to put it away. In, in a, so <laughs> in a, you got and it's all full of puns. This one's called smooth operators. Smooth is another word for a vagina. Is there like know? a read-along PDF that you put along with this podcast? We're or? thinking about doing it. I think if a, a Patreon, maybe. Mm. Hey, if, you, if you're listening, you'd like to see <laughs> scans of this for... Naked with children. Speaking of PDF files. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, very good. Hello. Very, very good. good. Wow. That's very good. Now, all right, I'll, I'll just head out. You guys do the rest of it, eh? Now, <laughs> Don't um, leave me alone with him. Yeah, I'm going to say, please, no. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> um, oh, are you? Mm. <laughs> now, uh, okay, so this one, what we're going to be doing this week is, fuck, is an article called Home Girls. Now, right. we've got two regular, well, there's a lot of recurring se- uh, segments, but in particular, mm-hmm. there's Home Blokes and Home Girls, okay? okay. Now, the Picture magazine uh, encourages readers to submit pictures of themselves, uh, whether male or female. Yep. Right. <clears throat> now... We have here. I'm going to give you an example of home blokes, just for a bit of a palate cleanser <laughs> of what we're normally dealing with. Where is home blokes, Peter? Um, I think you're getting closer. That's mm. a crossword. See what I mean? For, for <laughs> listeners at home, the pages are stuck together, so we can't quite like <laughs> pull them apart. <laughs> but so Jake's so autistic; it's just the puzzles that are stuck together. <laughs> 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 check, check, check out the body on seven down. <laughs> um, all right. So this is like what we're dealing with. This is yeah, great. Not so these are these are photos these men have submitted of themselves. Yeah, that yeah. was the final. That was the final <laughs> one that he sent. Like that one, you can't even see the dick. That's beautiful. Um, and what are they? If you win, it's like it's ridiculously cheap. It's like fifty bucks or something. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like a competition. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get. You and get if you money. get selected, it's like it's it's so it's, <laughs> it's so like cheap. bragging rights. That's awesome. And do they have like little descriptions with them, like biographies? Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to be doing the Sheila version of that. Yeah, today. wonderful. All right. Oh, I'm so happy. I love this one. Okay. The Sheila version. Yeah. Call us broads. Show some respect. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila's not disrespectful. I just think <laughs> Sheila is the opposite of bloke. That's the yeah, bloke and then Sheila. So here we go. Uh, um, home girls. Now, how did we do it last time? Do we Are we let... We let Meg do it last time, so Emma, we'll probably get you to describe. <gasps> Wasn't it Beck? It was some, or maybe it was Beck. It was, was all childhood. women are the same to you people. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get you to describe them okay. as we go through. And um, we'll I enjoyed turns. how we did it last time, so we did it like a little pungent. Okay, great. So um, I think just to p- put you in the mindset of the character, just to, you know, directorial feedback before yep. we get stuck in, I think... We're going to do the overlaying of pageantry music. Mm-hmm. And then you're kind of announcing the girls okay, cool. to the catwalk in yeah. my head. Great. What do you think? I can do that. So I, but I'm like describing what I'm seeing or am I reading the description of I, them? I think, I think for each one, we're going to get... Uh, We'll read out the the bio first. We'll take and turns we'll reading out the bio, and okay. then Emma will, for each one will descri- begin to describe the person because <laughs> okay. that is fair because it's not right for men to comment on women's bodies. But I'd love if you oh, did. <laughs> okay, great. Good I've to set lo- that precedent now. <laughs> uh, I've learnt that seven minutes later. <laughs> now uh, I'm going to think about that forever until I die. <laughs> Absolutely forever. <laughs> I need you. Everyone and I won't it. forget it. I, and I will bring it up often. We're going to like talk about it <laughs> afterwards. Okay, so here we have <coughs> Homegirls. Uh, the first one, a bit of pageantry music cut in here. And now. Now, now here nice. we have Sharon from Newcastle in New South Wales. And she says, I'm a 40-year-old mother of three. I love music, most types, and being outdoors. My hubby will probably disown me after this. He buys your magazine every week. But I've sent my pick in because I could do with the cash. Yeah, great. <coughs> 
Anytime so, anyone says I like most music, they're just saying I'm not a huge fan of hip hop. <laughs> yeah, no, it also, means they like everything but metal and country. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I, she says I like music, then comma most types, comma and being outdoors. So maybe it's, I like music, most types of something and then being outdoors. Not necessarily most types of music. Oh, just most it. types in general. Most types. Good for her. <laughs> um, fan, of, fan of a font. Now let's. And who um, am I describing? Which one? <laughs> oh, okay. What was her name? Sharon. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think you could tell that from <laughs> just looking <laughs> at her. Sharon is a. Uh, she's quite long. Um, <laughs> God, Fuck where do you start? Long, Sharon. <laughs> Jesus Sharon's Christ, a long Sharon. lass. <laughs> you get longer by the day. <laughs> right on. She's, can I can I go off on a side tangent real quick? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. This has nothing to do with what we're doing. Did okay. you ever, it's about um, short shearless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait till you hear about this. Um, did you ever read the twits growing up? Mm-hmm. Okay, do you no. remember that prank that the twits play on each other? It's a Roald Dahl book. The okay. prank glue. that the twits play on each other where they like um, glue a piece of a walking stick onto the walking stick every day to make them think they're yeah. shorter. Yeah. So I don't know why, but the way I remembered that was every day they put a nickel inside of the walking stick to yeah, make yeah, it yeah. heavier and heavier. And then I was trying to pitch like a joke to my partner mm. where I was like, okay, what if I like filled my granddad's, uh, you know, things with uh, walking stick with nickels and then he'll think that he's safe, but then I'll beat him to death with it. And it, he didn't understand what I was talking about. Mm. And um, let's get back to Sheila, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. I just kept thinking about like, I thought the walking stick was full of nickels. I think they glued, glued onto the bottom in the twits. They didn't feel, you can't feel a walking stick. Well, I know that wood. now. You can cut that out. Um, so that's, sh- the, uh, that's the only bit I'll be cutting out of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sharon is leaning on some kind of banister or chair. It's hard to tell. Mm-hmm. It has been te- this photo has been taken with um, a flash. I'm assuming an older camera, though, because the highlights are quite low. You've got to remember I'm a photographer as well. Oh, of course. Mm-hmm. So I will be analyzing the composition. <laughs> she's in quite like a... The way she's standing with like the lean... She's almost in like an S or a C shape, which is actually quite Fibonacci pleasing. Fibonacci spiral. Exactly. Quite pleasing for the eye to mm, follow. Look at that. Hey. Mm, okay. Clever little bloke. She's she's topless. She has quite a strong tan line. Um, it looks like she wears a lot of boat necked shirts. If there's any um, uh, Uniqlo fans at home. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's got bangles on both wrists. Oh, nice Could be bone. handcuffs with the chain gone, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's also... She is wearing pants... Um, would you call that pants or like pajamas or underwear? That looks like a satin. Like a satin short. Uh, yeah, like a negligee for a the satin, bum. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so shorts. <laughs> uh, I get uh, you know just to take the heat off your unrelated tension. I've got yeah. one as well. Great. Uh, so I worked in a haunted house for a couple of years in a row, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the the did you get any porno? That's how I got mine. But the the set was like very thrown together, and they would just like spray paint like scary words on <laughs> tarps and stuff the thing and someone went to write satan and they wrote satin so you'd be in this like haunted maze and just like a fabric has just <laughs> been written on the wall of satin just Ooh. a big red <laughs> 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 oh, I no, I no one's got an open flame <laughs> Ooh, we'll go that right up scary. so there we go Do you mean satin the planet no s-a-t-i-n oh satin great stuff thanks <laughs> Pretty funny she stuff. is wearing <laughs> yeah so Tension. she's wearing satin shorts um they're quite like a little little hint of a ruffle uh, and they're quite like a pale pink colour, pastel. Doesn't do much for her skin tone, but, no. you know, I don't think that's what she's going for in this photo. I don't think she does much for her, her skin tone. Say, you look at yeah. the face. That's a – I don't want to be cruel here, but I'm about to be. That's a rough couple of years on the needle, I reckon. Oh, uh, I – what do you mean insulin? <laughs> no, I mean heroin. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are different people. <laughs> She, yeah, I think I think this is a really beautiful photo of her. She was clearly, clearly um, quite confident in it, which I really respect. Again, strong tan line. I think she does really like the outdoors. She didn't lie about that. Mm-hmm. And um, I respect women who are open and honest. So Fantastic. I've got nothing but respect for Sharon. There is a certain like truckerness. Yeah, yeah. It looks like she's done like hard labor. Blue collar. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely blue collar. Yeah. A lot of full meals from the servo. Yeah, yeah, but she's got um, but thi- like still knows her, knows her way around a servo hotbox. She you know knows how I mean? to yeah. pose her body, and I really like that about her. Uh, she knows her angles. 
Mm, yeah. Very good. All right, let's move on, Peter. You want to read out number two? I'd love to. Um, the music starts now. now. Breathy Virginia. It's pronounced Virginia. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I saw the name. I, I was just, just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting to hit that. I love the roar <laughs> out on the music there. But it comes back in now. Breathy Virginia is an <laughs> entre- it is fun to say. Yeah. Is an entrepreneur who, among other things, runs her own public relations consultancy mm. and makes fantasy phone calls. She's 25 and single with no kids. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and was having some fun with the boyfriend when these shots were taken. Why did you send them to us? <laughs> I thought you might like them. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what do you do? Fence competitively and swim. Wait, how what? Much she means she... like assembling fences. <laughs> <laughs> She's very quick. <laughs> it's very good. So why she sent them to us? I thought you might like them. And then they say, what do you do? Fence competitively and swim. And make dirty phone calls and do her own freelance PR thing. Is that what she said? Yeah, she's all over the place, mate. She's Cause it's random one. No. She has a lot on. Oh, women can't multitask now. Oh, I will not be lectured on <laughs> misogyny <laughs> by, this by this lady. <laughs> <laughs> by this broad. <laughs> oh, I've just seen her. I, I'm ex- I haven't seen oh, her yet. And I'll tell me. you what, she definitely does all of the things she says she does. Number two. Number God, two. Oh, them. my God. Oh. Like a cross between Danny Zuko and Sandy. Are there, oh, there's two photos. Are these both her? We, yeah, got, a, we got a front and a back shot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I love this. She's got like that, um, those pencil curls from the 80s. She's wearing sunglasses like she's in that. What's that Tom Cruise movie? Weird Al Yankovic. Yep, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> She's top like slides in on the sun. Oh, the sorry. Um, oh. Ferris Bueller's Big, big Day big. In. <laughs> <laughs> no, is it Big? Big, some of that? Big. 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 That's, big. that's the movie where Tom Hanks <laughs> <laughs> plays a child. <laughs> What's it called? I can't think. <laughs> oh, my God. What is it? <laughs> Do you have your working with children's check, sir? <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, absolutely not. So she's wearing Ray Bans. Mm. She's got like, okay, I love this. She's smiling, but it's kind of like a Mona Lisa vibe. Like, is she smiling or is she screaming? I can't tell. It's very gritted teeth. It's, yeah, real it's gritted <laughs> teeth. It's quite a close up. It's from like bottom of the knockers up. <laughs> um, and she's holding, I don't know what that is in between her breasts. Like, I'm going to assume it's a very thin corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> do you, I can't like, tell do you what think, that is. I think that might be a. Um, a uh, uh, marital aid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some kind of like a toy. Priest. A priest. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she Therapist. also has... She's got a, ther- a marriage counselor <laughs> between her tits. She also across her... How does this make you feel? <laughs> across her mummy milkers, oh. she has um, what I assume to be bath foam. But again, first looking at this, it looks like shaving cream. Yeah. So what I saw is a woman in sunglasses holding up a piece of corn with shaving cream covering that's her breasts. On, honestly, this magazine, that would be probably, yeah, completely normal. Um, and the, what a and thrill the to have shot. finally my very specific fantasy fulfilled in this magazine. <laughs> God, I've been waiting for a thin corn and the cob shaving cream combination. <laughs> you know what's funny? The sunnies in the nude. Like, the sunnies is such a funny thing to do. Because it's like the one thing you're wearing. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like being new with socks on, but it's so weird to be like, oh, check out my sexy pose. And like, you know, there's so much, there's so much um, emotion in the eyes that you can mm. kind of give the, the, literally the bedroom eyes, the sexy, the mm, smoldering. What do you, you think? Just go, yeah, yeah. Hey, what do you think is the most, on holiday? <laughs> if you had like, say, say you know, you had one accessory slash item of clothing, what do you think is the accessory slash item of clothing that would make you feel most uncomfortable? Because I always think the naked with shoes, like when you're, not, when you're camping and you've got, like you have to have thongs on in the shower. You ever done that? Yeah, but like a pair, like runners. But like, na- like naked with shoes is the worst way to be yeah, naked, I think. But I think it's because you've had to do it in the shower. That's weird. But I think that if you're naked with like a pair of like what, Reeboks on, mm. nothing else. <laughs> Fuck that. Work boots. Yeah. <laughs> Red packs. Cowboy boots. Pair of bloodstones yeah. on. <laughs> Mine's um, naked with an IV drip in. <laughs> 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 Makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, this back shot of Virginia is very nice. Uh, she's wearing something in this. I think it's like some kind of um, like G-string, like one piece maybe. 
Uh, but you can really see the lighting in her curls, which I like. Again, flash nice. has been used. So, like, the front is quite prominently mm. lit. Yeah. Uh, the back, not so much. <laughs> um, she's She's got cheeks out. She, she looks beautiful. I think these are great photos of her. Again, um, all I can commend her on is her confidence. And I just, like, I, I really need to know if that's corn. <laughs> that's that's where I've landed Let's on this one. Let's have a proper little investigation here. When's this from? The 80s or the 90s? 1993. Oh, okay. I... Because when I first saw it, I saw I thought it was like a candle, but it's definitely uh, not a candle. It, d- it could be like, like a, a banana, maybe. In the wind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a candle between my tits. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I do. I, d- I just think it must be some sort of dildo of some some yeah. sort. I you would imagine. Had, you've seen the dildos from the nineties? They're very primitive and weird. No, I was a child. <laughs> 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 what do they look like? Uh, like like like, like uh, bad. Like before, you remember when silicon came in? Like the Livestrong band, the little wristband. <laughs> remember that? From then, that's when silicon, I reckon, was invented. And then they're like, you know what? Let's make everything out of silicon. Now, whenever but you see some of those bands, you're like, give them a little nod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brother. But pre, pre that, all the mm. sex toys were just like latex and rubber coated ones. They're fucked. Oh, yucky. They're real weird. And you know how now you feel a sex toy and you're like, I know that exact. It's a premium cu- product. Cush- yeah. Yeah yeah. 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 This is no good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like pop and watch batteries in the back of the guns. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Bad. Yeah, not no good. USB charger on these things. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look here. Oh, do you want to read this one out? Yes. Yeah, number I'll three. Re- All right. I'll well, read. pageantry music starts now. Please welcome from Dandenong, North Victoria. It's Kelly. Ice skating, roller skating and nightclubbing are 22-year-old Kelly's greatest pleasures. And when she's on the town, she drinks everything. (laughs) A single mum of two, Kel does casual factory work and modelling. Clearly she doesn't drink everything. (laughs) 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 Um, At least twice. (laughs) So she does casual factory work and modelling. And she sent us her pics just to see how I go. (laughs) Coy, modest. And this is <laughs> this is my favourite so far. Oh, she's <laughs> I reckon she's had a drink before this, and I think it's of kerosene. <laughs> she is. Can I just flip it around? Like, she looks like a fucking corpse. <laughs> she looks like she's died. I just want to be clear. She looks like neck down, fantastic. She looks really good. Yeah. I don't know why she's chosen a photo taken in between the photos she was trying to take. Well, I've actually met Kelly before. She was an animatronic in that haunted house. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to lie. She looks like she's had about 40 standard drinks and has been then hit in the head. She's Okay, so she's got her eyes closed and her mouth slightly ajar. Um, And she has a mullet, which I honestly think looks sick. I really like it. But it's just the fact that her eyes are like half shut and it does look like it was accidentally taken. Um, Below that, uh, she is wearing some kind of corseted top that's uh, just slipped down below her nipples. So you can see them. But it also looks like a mistake. It does look like an error, yes. I was going to let her have that one. (laughs) This was supposed to be a passport photo. (laughs) (laughs) Explains the white background. Um, And she is also wearing something on bottom, but we can't see too much of that. Uh, Again, (laughs) I would commend her on her confidence, but it looks like this was an accidental (laughs) photo that she took while trying to take the good one. Look at... She's got, like, Bowie head. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you... (laughs) That's that's it does look like that's David Bowie. Bowie. Exactly yeah. what I was I was like. There's someone that this looks like to you me. You know what I mean? It's bang on. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I <laughs> I want to see the photos <laughs> that weren't accepted for this month. <laughs> if this is what made it in. Yeah, literally dead Sheila's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, get the one that's asleep <laughs> or something. Um, I, I re- again, I really like it. I think she looks beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna read number four here. <coughs> How many we have? Six. Uh, yes, but then we've got the the final uh, home homie of the week. Oh, I forgot about this one. Mm. This so these are all the runners up essentially because oh. there's one. And does she get her own page? Oh yeah. Oh great. Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, <coughs> and I think they actually pay to shoot her correctly. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. With the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ke- Come on Ke- in. Kelly looks like Standing she's been shot with a bow. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, pageantry music starting now. <coughs> uh, Cherry from... <laughs> oh, I, can't. I saw Cherry's face next to it. Oh. And I lost it. <laughs> 
<laughs> she was looking dead at me. You know the, you know the paintings where the eyes move. As soon as I said Joe, she goes, "Hey, young." Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Cunt. Um, oh. Ch- uh, Cherry from way out west, New South Wales. My wife oh. is forty years old and a mother of six children. She likes sex, vodka, and orange, and partying to the small hours when we can get out. Hoping you could include include these in your great magazine, as we would like to see her in print. Also, the money would come in very handy. <laughs> <laughs> Just a oh bit no. of a bit of real world desperation oh. thrown in at the end there. <clears throat> God, she loves to fuck and drink, and that's why we don't have a whole great deal of cash. <laughs> and would love to get aircon for the warmer months. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry's favourite bit of the picture is homegirls, so I can compare my figure and a big hello to her top hubby who told Boxy to fuck right off. Boxy's but is the real editor. Oh, okay. the editor, sorry. Who told Boxy to fuck right off, but is really a champion. Bloke. Okay. <clears throat> and then it <laughs> You are going to fucking love this. I don't know if you've caught a glimpse, but I just have. It's awesome. <laughs> I think I've seen it, but I haven't associated it with Cherry yet. <laughs> oh, no CCs here. <laughs> <laughs> Spread them, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the, the most important part of this photo is that she is like leaning against a wall with her legs spread and they've put an animated beaver in front of <laughs> her. Um, Vanyanya. Her IRL beaver. <laughs> 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 um, she, I love that she's got a towel around her head to keep no. it dry. <laughs> like, it's so funny. This is awesome. <laughs> she's, what's the pose? Talk about the pose. She, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, so she's like got her hands behind her leaning against the wall. She's standing up and then like <laughs> legs just like akimbo. A- akimbo. <laughs> um, and... I don't, again, it's like she's jumped back to the wall. Yeah, it looks like she's seen a ghost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's had a bit of a fright and didn't have time to put some clothing on. Oh, so here's a tangent. Mm-hmm. Um, my dog got out last week yeah. and uh, I had just gotten out of the shower. I was wearing a dressing gown. I had nothing on underneath. And he is a greyhound and he's very fast. Mm-hmm. And I had to chase after him. I wasn't wearing shoes and I reckon I ran... I want to say, not to be dramatic, 400 metres after this dog to a main road with, like, sopping wet hair, like, holding on to this thing for dear life. Um, and now let's get back to Cherry. I don't know how to end stories. Is that a problem? <laughs> no, that's fine. That's that fine. Looks, it looks like that's what's and happened yeah, this to is Cherry. A, that's it's exactly what it... Because yeah. this is what it felt like. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I've never empathised with a woman more. She looks like the husband's gone and got a camera and then a big fake spider. She's gotten out of the, the <laughs> shower and she's gone, ah! and then she's realised, oh, you bastard, and then he snapped the picture. Yeah, she's had a fright. <laughs> or it's like when you're in a photo booth at a wedding or something and it starts counting down, three, two, and you can't decide a pose. <laughs> <laughs> so you just do a silly one. She's probably just f- like like... Her whole body is the momentum behind the mons pubes. There's a lot there. of movement just to it. which I, Yeah, I love that. Fucking crazy. Like she's in a competition to try to get her neck and her pussy as far away from each other <laughs> as possible. It's a very um like active image, and I really and love that the, the inspiration <laughs> from my net, my back. <laughs> get it away from my pussy and my crack. <laughs> you know what I do like about this is there's a lot of symmetry to it because mm. like if you cut this down half, it's almost like she's in like like you could flip it over and it's like one of those Rockdale tests. Is that what they're called? Uh, raw shark. Raw shark. Yeah. I don't know where Rockdale came from. It's a raw shark <laughs> test. So what do you see when you look at it? What do I see? Yeah. Um, to me, it looks like like a, like an outback Australian landscape. Okay, and so there's from two kangaroos in the foreground. Yeah, um, and in the background there is a setting sun. Yeah. Okay. So from a psychological perspective, that does mean you should neck yourself. <laughs> 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 what do you see, Jake? Um, uh, from where I was, it was an upside down Y. Oh yeah, but yeah. that's cool. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So you're at a fork in your. Um, Korea, yeah. you're at a fork in the road mm-hmm. and now you have to pick which direction or leg you would like to take. <laughs> I am the beaver. <laughs> you, are, you are the beaver. <laughs> and you were standing <laughs> looking at... <laughs> this is what um, Robert Frost was writing about. Two paths diverge in front of you. <laughs> Sorry, no Frost fans in the house. All right. <laughs> thought oh, this was a, a cultured a podcast. A bit of a cold reception for Frost. Uh, <laughs> there you go, mate. Uh, fuck. Um, I really, again, <laughs> just the... I, I respect nothing but the confidence, you know, like if nothing, sorry. Mm. I just, I love taking that photo and thinking, yeah, this is the one. That's it. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah. Again, yeah, so she, Cherry looks one. great um, and good for her. Now these, so magazines, what, 93, 94. Mm-hmm. 
th- you could how would this have had to be sent in digitally or print? Oh, print. Absolutely. So what do you what are you going oh, to? Oh, so a, they had to get these developed and yeah. like yeah. that's. Yeah. Awesome. Asking the guy at the chemist, which one of these do you like most? Oh, can you imagine like them? I like this one, miss. Sorry, wake up. In the <laughs> <middle>. <laughs> Are you pissed? <laughs> oh, I love that. Also, how much does it cost to get photos developed back then? Would have been like, what, five bucks? Uh, what, five what's that dollars? with inflation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ju- oh sorry Ooh. Jake's taken a big breath in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah perfect for a podcast uh, Yeah I don't know how much it was I know now it's like $15 ish To get a roll of film developed But I mean it must have been so much cheaper then Yeah yeah it must have been much much more common Because that's the only way to, to do it Alright let's go number five And then we've got to bang these other All ones right. out Bang the, yeah, right. Mm. All right, you Kathy. stay away from those nice women. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, finally a bit of fucking Queensland in the mix. <laughs> oh, yes. Where, it'll be an outer suburb, won't it? Jamboree Heights. Fucking oath. Nice. Um, brum, it's, nev- music it's, now. it's never anywhere nice. <laughs> Kathy has a horrible to con- confession to make. <laughs> no, Kathy, don't do it. <laughs> I go for the blues. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, um, uh, I don't read the picture. My husband sees it at work. He wanted me to send in my photo. <laughs> Kath is 27 years old. <laughs> Lie also, by the way. I, I see it at work. <laughs> That's all. I have to read it at work. Right. I have to read I it at work. Like it's part it. of it's I part of I don't I hate it. The other boys. boys. You know what the boys are. I did like. I entered it as a joke. <laughs> yeah, this is all a joke. Um, he Sorry. wanted me to send in my photo. Kath is 27 years old with a two-year-old ruggy. Who likes doing crafty stuff like quilting and cross stitching? Mm. That's beautiful. I don't go out much. We're very <laughs> homey, and now homey also like. Um, yeah. Anyway, so Kathy is number five. I'm gonna have a little peek. What? Oh, he's lost for words. <laughs> show me, show me number five. Yeah, right. Oh, she's so normal. Very this normal. This is the most normal nude I have ever seen in my life. Like, of course she does crochet and cross yeah. stitching. But she's made herself a little thing. Yeah, what? so she's just, it's honestly, it's just a nice lady. She's standing um, in the full nude and she's got like a scarf wrapped around her, I want to say like waist, mm. but you can still see everything below that. Um, God, there's not much to it, is there? No. Nah. <laughs> At least there was some like movement and excitement in this one. Like, it's not even a sexual pose. No, she's it's like, it looks like, a figure drawing, you know? Yeah. This is the Rivers ad of nudity. <laughs> <laughs> that is bang on. Yeah. I it's mean, she looks like, like I don't a nice hate lady. it. I don't love it. It's there. Could you imagine being so fucking boring that even in a podcast, unpacking your <laughs> nude photo in <laughs> 28 years after you took it, people go, oh, not even anything here to talk about. <laughs> Again, she looks beautiful. It's just like quite dull as a photo. I love the background though. She's standing in front of what looks like a painting of a jaguar maybe. But like it's a kind magic of... magic eye. Hidden. Can you not see the spots behind her legs? Oh, great oh, yeah. spot there. Yeah, oh, thank you. There we have, no, yeah. that would look so if we were to analyse that. But <laughs> this is the this is the nerd that I would go, get the fuck out of the way of the Jaguar. Yeah. There's a Jag that looks great. Look that You're one. annoying me. She looks like if you like passed her in the street and she was nude, you'd go, Yeah, all right, of course. And like yeah. move on with your day. Okay. Quite yeah. plain. Yeah, uh, again, not the woman, just the way the, the photo's composition, taken. The, whole thing the composition. Me, yeah. She looks beautiful. Did I say the right word there? No, and I'm going to tweet this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make that the thing you tweet. Okay. Um, you, you look, look, what was her name? Kathy, you look beautiful. We need more. Give us more. Serve, please. All right. Our second last Six. one. Uh, oh, this is for you. Oh, it's for me. Okay. Um, from Katoomba, New South Wales, we have Jill. <gasps> and this is a quote. I last appeared as a homegirl in June 24, 1992 edition. A repeat. Mm, mm. <laughs> now I am sending you these photos while I am seven months pregnant. Mm. 21-year-old Jill... That's so... Okay. 21-year-old Jill is married to two other butte nippers. Oh, with two other butte nippers. Oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm she's butchering she's this. She's already had two. She's into heavy metal Harleys and oh, collecting wow. stuff about tigers. <laughs> <laughs> you should, oh, you should talk. Let me, let me introduce you to Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, and she reads picture for It's Interesting Stories. Oh, so, man. again, another quite wholesome woman. Um, repeat customer. Third kid, 21, 21 is so young to have a third kid. Um, and it's just her standing in the shower. Nude. Being this full is of like, bub. This is like a really beautiful photo. <laughs> she's like, she's pregnant and she's in the nude and she looks like happy and confident. It's just like a really nice photo of this woman. <laughs> yeah. 
All, all I can comment on is um, she's really into stuff about tigers, which I would like to get into. Yeah, that's not good. You know, she's got some kind of ombre in her hair. That's what I can spot. Oh, in books, um, Cameron Duggan, the guest on the Cam next Duggan's episode. Cam Duggan's here. Sorry, we're looking at pictures of naked ladies. If you can go away for a second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. All right, and yeah. we've got our final. We've got I'm our very final one. To see so you're excited one. to see? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so this is the winner. This oh, is but I found out the figure when I handed back the magazine to me. $125. Oh. So, wow. not too bad, really. And with inflation. Yeah, that's upwards of that's $2 billion now. It's a bit more, yeah. It's like $2 billion. <laughs> that's crazy. That'd be so rich. Um, <clears throat> so, here it has the final one. This is the $500 girl of the week. $500. Oh, $500. Even then, sorry. <laughs> uh, as Leanne from Manly in New South Wales. She says, hi, I'm a 21-year-old New Zealander. Disqualified immediately. Oh, um, God. Was oh, that me ringing? <laughs> oh, please go away. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, <clears throat> it says, Hi, I'm a 21 year old New Zealander who was trying to travel around Oz until someone stole everything from my hotel room. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Including all my clothes. <laughs> <Hell. laughs> I'm stranded on the beach. Please send money and so a life raft. <laughs> <clears throat> so you can see that I need the money desperately to get home. No, I am not on the dole. Uh, oh, oh, remember, okay. that's, the, that's the second time that's come up. Remember when people, there was like a period in the 90s where if you were on the dole, fuck you, that's buddy. So Do you not remember that time? Everyone's just like, fucking dole, you get on the dole, you need social assistance, you fucking loser. I remember that was a big thing pushed into me by dad. You don't want to be on the dole, mate. Yeah, it's you a very. You don't want to be on the dole. <laughs> Very dated thing. So I'm not on the doll. Uh, my interests are meeting people, drinking, uh, partying, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> drinking twice, uh, horse riding, skiing, drinking. Oh, yes, she's doing it as a funny thing. And many more things which you shouldn't print. Uh, oh, oh, yes, we would, Leanne, uh, but you wouldn't tell us, would you? No, my mother will see the pics, she said. When Sorry, drinking, what? <laughs> I don't know. Well, what could she be doing? That's Wait, does that mean her mother's going to be looking at these photos? Well, maybe she's worried. What if the mother sees the things my that mom she likes? My mum fucking loves titty mags, man. <laughs> <laughs> my mum loves them. <laughs> Got to uh, make her proud. Got to get in them. <laughs> and when drinking, Leanne chooses wine or vodka and orange. So they've, there's the original photo that they've submitted. And then they've gone, hey, we like it so much. Come on in. And let's and do a photo shoot. Let's do a photo Guess shoot. A quiz? She's, she's doing a very cheeky. So it's should a very we explain the first photo she sent oh, in? The first? little one, the original. Can I say I think the original <coughs> is more stunning than the professional image. Big call. That's a that's, that's a, a big that, call for that that's photographer. A good, that's a fucking top notch photo. Yeah, you'd be thrilled right, with that. She's a that very attractive lady. <laughs> wow, that is better. Okay, so the first photo is like this beautiful bedroom shot. She's backlit. She's kneeling on a bed, but it's like the lighting is like, it's kind of like golden. It looks really lovely. You're right. This is a beautiful photo. The, see, the, the big one is just like on a beach, full daylight. She's got her tongue out and it's like. It's a very Gen Z face, isn't it? Hey. What, tongue out? That's a little Cardi B though. Hey. <laughs> hey. And she, she was inspired by um, said woman. She's got a, she's in front of water. I want to say the beach, dare I? <laughs> dare I the Just background. over there in front of the water, thanks, Dals. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she's got like a shirt kind of dangling off her arms. Um, yeah, it just doesn't, there's something really like romantic and renaissance about that first image and this second one is like, n- no fault of her own, it just seems quite lazily taken. Mm. I would like to... Have it out with the photographer. Why don't you flip it over? There's, there's oh, more there's of her. More. There. No, no, no. Just uh, oh, no, hold on. Wait. It's become disconnected. It's been oh, no. w- quite weathered. Oh, so, okay. So she's done a beach oh, photo wow. shoot is what she's done. Mm-hmm. So these photos are... Um, oh, she, no. She looks like she's on the docks, not the beach. As long as she's on the doll. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so she's leaning against a rock in one. She's got some kind of leopard print belt in another. Mm. She's giving a lot of range. Okay. So they've shot this at like... I'm going to say 2 p.m. when the sun is at its harshest, which is unideal. Yeah. You want to diffuse that lighting. Yeah. You don't want that harsh. That's what is so beautiful about that first photo. The lighting's diffused. It's like... 5 to 6 p.m. Yeah, it lights her body beautifully. These ones, the shadows are really harsh. They're trying to... I bet she was sunburnt after this. There's no no remnants of SBF on her face. <laughs> Very upsetting. 
Um, these are beautiful photos of her. I just think the one she sent in, she did a better job in. <laughs> um, just proving that women can have it all. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, she's a gorgeous woman. Fantastic. She deserves the money. Well, Emma, thank you for helping us navigate the one of the more trickier articles. <laughs> well, because there's women in it. <laughs> That's correct. And we're prone to saying something bad. Um, yeah, you did very well. You were very restrained. I could you. see like the vein popping in your forehead. Yeah, the no time. good. Forehead. <laughs> 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 Kev Duggan's enjoyed that from about <laughs> 10 metres away. <laughs> yeah, Jay Scott, Vaney Cock, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just Cam Duggan over here. Um, well, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I just flicked over to that. Look at that funny song. <laughs> on that. Grab your tools, readers. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Um, and, a, and a well deserved winner, $500. And I get to keep this now, yes? We're awesome. actually done with this magazine. You, you can keep it if you oh, want. Oh, that's okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> you sure you don't want to keep it? Damn it, we always had it. <laughs> um, Boys, the operation. Up. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to cut out that beautiful original photo that she's taken. And oh yeah, Leanne's are, um, for original photo. I will, I will be keeping. Yeah, yes. all yours, mate. Thank you. Um, well, Emma, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, where can people find you? Um, oh, <laughs> do I want them to find me after this? No, <laughs> no <we're>, um, <laughs> just give us someone else's handle. Uh, I'm online, um, and it's at Frankie McNair. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just Emma Holland. If you Google, I'm sure something will pop up. Google popular website. Yeah, people love it. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I've got it on my place. computer. I'm thinking about getting my phone. Oh. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Good on you. Well, Emma, thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> Jake, Good Chat Comedy Festival is rounding down to a close. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Might I say. Today You've done fantastically well. Congratulations. Thank you. Big, big undergoing. Thank you for both being part of it. No worries. Um, Have you done your show yet, Emma? I'm all finished, yeah. How was it? It was good. It's I did good. a little work in progress. It went fine. Great. Uh, Fantastic yeah. stuff. It was lovely. Um, it will be released today. This will be released on the final day. So to everyone who came along, thank you very much. We have, uh, like, I'm just halfway through doing the settlements at the moment. Wowie, the number of tickets are sold. So it's so good. It'll be fucking, fucking awesome. Crazy. Dude. Well crazy done. The, crazy to happen in Brisbane. And that's why we all do it for the money, you know? Yeah. I yeah. absolutely do it for the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no other... Reason for me thing. to do this, and what do you have to promote there, Peter? If something, oh, let me say, oh, uh, every Monday night in Cairns, every it, Monday night in Cairns. Yeah, every Monday night in Cairns, laughing out comedy. But I'm thinking the last day of the festival, we'll be backing on to Brand Spanking. Oh yes, that's right. So if you are in Brisbane, Monday the 26th, I believe, uh, Brand Spanking, brand new material from some of the finest comics from around the place. Uh, half the lineup, actually, over half the lineup is uh, interstate. Oh, hmm. so that's pretty exciting. Over there. Um, so if you're around. Come along, send us a message if you're strapped for cash. We'd love to have you in. And um, come, and, come and have a laugh, eh? Hey? That's <laughs> what it's all about. <laughs> That's what it's about, and, fellas. And making money. As well. and, and making money. money. Yeah. Making money. And, and titties. becoming a star. <laughs> and titties. Um, but thanks for coming on, Emma. We'll be back next week with, um, I guess, probably Cam Duggan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.